subscribe on YouTube. I hope y'all having a great day. I'm in a Jeep right now. I'm finally gonna get some food. Uh, I figured I would show y'all my hair because I just got a retwist. Got it braided back in like a uh, cornrows. I need a lineup. So yeah, this would be for those of y'all that don't know. I had dreads for like eight years, but I cut them off like 2016, 2017, and started over. So this would be like fires. I did start off my dreads not the traditional way. Like the way I did it was the towel rub method. I left a comment on somebody's video of uh, they uh dread lock up did or something like that and in the comment section I was, uh people was want like a lot of people was asking about like how you do the, the tower up method so what you do is you wash your hair and it's recommended to use a microfiber towel you can use a regular towel but i would recommend a microfiber towel and i can't see i can't remember if you use like a uh, lock and gel I use the uh, the Jamaican Mango and Lime Lock and Gel. You can find them in like any beauty supply. Uh, the little the yellow bottle. It will have a yellow cap on it. The Jamaican Mango and Lime Lock and Gel. And if I remember correctly, use some of that. Not the uh, the real like the real thick Lock and Gel. Like the it's like more slimy. I mean, this is just the way I did it. Like I said, you know, there's more explanatory videos out there. If what I'm saying is not getting across, that's fine. You can click off, go to them videos. But I'm just saying the way I did it was the microfiber towel. I washed my hair, used the microfiber towel, went along my head in one direction and used lock and gel. And uh, your hair will come out twisted. One major thing I forgot to point out in this video, the towel rub method is just to get you started. Once your hair gets to a certain length, I say a year of growth, you should probably go to somebody to have them retwist it for you, whether you want to go interlock or you want to go freeform. It's up to you, whatever you want to do, all right? Um, if I find some pictures or videos, I'm going to put them in the video, put them as clips in the video. Is your local beauty supply closed? Are you tired of being in the house bald headed because of this quarantine? Well, look no further. I got this little piece of dread right here. I'm trying to get you right for the summer. You can use this ponytail. You can use that some bangs. Look, I, I'm a legitimate businessman. You see a watch. You cash at me $1.99. I got you. I, I'm going to get you right. So, y'all see my process. But yeah. So it's been like five years. Just got a retwist like uh, two nights ago. So yeah, I wanna show y'all, you know. Y'all see it. Oh, I wish I could, I wish I could go in depth. Matter of fact, yeah, I could do that this video. Um, Let's see, I did. I think I went the longest period. The longest period I went without getting a retwist on my hair, like 2020 pretty much, the whole pandemic made, made me not want to get my hair retwisted because you can't go out anywhere. You So I that shit, that shit made me neglect getting my hair retwisted. So that's probably the longest period of time that I went without getting my hair retwisted, like six months. It might have been six to eight months. Uh, I don't encourage going that long without getting your hair retwisted. I did get my tips dyed. Uh, Y'all seen it? Let me see. 
don't know if y'all see. My hair is in fact dyed the tips. Um, I was going for like, not like blonde. I, I ain't want like blonde, I want it to be like, yeah, almost blonde was what I was going for. Go through a dreadlock journey. It's like, you don't want to cut them because you already went this long. You, you, you know, why start over? It's like a progression thing, you know. I already came this far. And it's like, it ain't like when you got like a fade. Let's say you just grow your hair off for a month. Cut it over, that's only a month. Cut it and go to a fade. I mean, you only grew your hair off for a month. I grew this for five years. Five years in a month, the, yeah. So, do I miss having a dread mohawk, dread hawk? Yes and no. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I be, sometimes I be looking through my old pictures of when I had a dread mohawk, dread hawk, and I be thinking like, damn, that shit was kinda hard. But one of the main reasons I started over and got it like my whole head done, one of the main reasons I started over it was because I had to keep cutting down my sides and it was like all this. I had to keep that like maintained and I didn't want to deal with it anymore so I started over. I think the best look I had with the Dreadhawk was the earlier stage when it was like not very long. Once it got long, it was just like, uh, do I wanna keep doing this? So I just cut it. Um, I will say I liked how much thicker my dreads were before, but that's because I did the tower up method. See, that's another thing with uh, doing the tower up method is your dreads will be thinner than if you went to somebody to have them like comb the twists and and part it out yeah it's a little bit different um tower meant that your dreads might be thinner so um that's a little drawback i'm not too worried about it i still like these dreads also at one point in time i did use beeswax on my hair i would use that it adds build up in your hair. When I started noticing that, I went back to doing the Jamaican mango and lime products. That's all I use on my hair. Jamaican mango and lime, everything. The conditioner, I got shampoo. I got the uh, island oil. I use all Jamaica mango and lime products. They'll be in like, they'll have yellow uh, stickers on them or yellow bottles. You can't miss them when you go to a beauty supply. You look in the, the hair section, the hair products and all that, like uh, wave grease and all that. You can't miss them. They they got a yellow cap on them. Oh, that's another thing. Um, eventually, I want to count how many dreads locks I got. I'm definitely going to say it's more than 100. I got more than 100 dreads. I don't know an exact, I don't know an exact number. Another question I got was people that don't have like the African-American like nappy hair, people that are like mixed, people that are like, I've, I've, I've had a question from somebody that was like Hispanic wanting to get dreadlocks. It's possible, definitely uh, for like, if you're Caucasian, I've seen it done. You can get dreadlocks. Um, I just think it'll be harder to maintain. I never had straight hair, so I can't really say, but I just, I just, from my perspective, how I see it, it would be more difficult to maintain because you gotta, it'll probably like be more like, frizzy and that's why i i personally i don't entirely like 
when people get dreadlocks and their hair texture isn't the same, it's no hate, but like, I'm just saying, if I had straight hair, I would do it. But not judging, you know. But yeah, that's my dreadlock journey. Um, you know, I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot to explain to y'all, like, or to go in depth with my dreadlock journey. Um, like, I've seen I've seen some like uh like dreadlock journey creators on YouTube that like they go in depth. They do they do a better they do a better job than what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I figured I would at least show y'all and give y'all a glimpse of my hair and what I got going on. You know. Other than that, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment down in the comment section. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification so y'all know when I'm uploading. Other than that, peace out. I'm out. I'm going to get some food. I've been talking long enough.